Hello everyone, so in this video we are going to do object detection using Python and OpenCV and the model that we are going to use is the single shot detector or the SDD model. In this video we will only be using OpenCV. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is actually go to the description and get the link. Okay, the link of the git file. So here you are basically going to get the models that we will be using. Okay, so we will say git clone and whatever this is, this is there in the description. Okay. So you have to go here and hit shift and enter. Okay. So once that will be done, you need to import certain libraries. So I'm going to say import numpy as NP. Okay. And you have to import CV2. And lastly, you have to import the uh, patch. So from Google dot collab dot patches import CV2 underscore imsho. Okay. And I'm going to hit shift and enter. Fine. So once the model is collected over here and this is running. Now the third thing we need to do is we need to have the class names. Okay. So the class names are also there in the description. You can go and get the class names. So once those three things are ready, these three things are ready. We are ready for the coding, the main coding. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go over here, refresh this. And you can see over here we have two files. This is the cafe model file and this is the proto txt file. We need to have both those files. So we need to say proto proto and then we need to copy from here the path and paste it over here. Okay. So I'm going to give double quotations and then paste it over here. The next thing that we need is weights. So we're going to say weights and then I'm going to copy the cafe model weights. So I'm going to go and say copy path and then I'm going to paste it over here. Lastly, what I'm going to say is I'm going to have my model. I'm going to define my model, which is basically net. So I'm going to say net equal to CV2 dot D and N dot read capital net. So N small E T then from capital F from and from and I'm going to say cafe. Okay. So here what we need to do, we need to pass in the two variables proto and we have to pass in weights. Okay. And you have to hit shift and enter. So once that is done, now what you are going to do, you are going to take the image. So I'm going to take the image. The image is also there in this. So I'm going to say cv2 dot im read. Okay. So I'm going to say this and the uh, doggo image you can see over here. Okay. It's a very famous image for it's like Lena for object detection. If you are familiar with the Lena image, it also has a story behind it. Okay, so first I'm going to resize the re image. So I'm going to say IMG underscore resized. Okay, now we are going to resize it to the shape of uh, 300 cross 300. So I'm going to say resize and image and 300 cross 300. Now why 300 cross 300? Because this is the default shape that it takes, the model takes. And I'm going to hit shift and enter. Okay. Once that is done, I have to create blob. Now what is blob? Blob is just like, um, let's say the data loader part of PyTorch where basically I'm, I'm not getting into that. It's basically transforming your, your image that we have over here, IMG, in such a way that this model can accept. That is what blob is. And the function that is there is cv2.dnn.blob from capital F image not images image okay now here we are going to pass the image resized image resized and then we are going to pass in some other values 0 0.007843 this is the value for uh, scaling then we need to again pass the size that is 300 cross 300 okay then what we have to do we have to give uh, let's go to the next line we have to actually do some mean uh, subtraction now you can also skip some uh, these parts if you don't want to do but it is better okay you will still get results without doing this but this is mostly for accuracy if you don't understand you can say leave it and then give false okay and hit shift and enter so once this is done what you need to do you are ready to your data is ready in the blob and your model is ready in the net so once your data and your model is ready what you need to do is basically you need to start uh, the detection part so obviously we, we are doing this only for an image so you can also do it for multiple images but right now we are going to say set in input set input and i'm going to say blob okay and i'm going to hit shift and enter fine 
after that what i'm going to do i'm going to say detections is equals to net dot forward so this will basically run our uh the model and get to the this is the forward pass now what you can do is you can say detections okay now the best the first thing that i generally do is actually find the shape okay so it's a numpy array fine now if it is a numpy array let me get the shape of it so this is how i typically deal with uh, results so it is one comma one which is basically so this one is for uh, your uh, i think the number of images whatever so this is one comma one hundred comma seven so what i can do is since this is one comma one we don't really need it so i'm going to squeeze it okay so if you are familiar with numpy or if you are not you will you know get familiar with, with numpy and other things once you start working on it and i'm going to say this is going to be my final okay and now i'm going to print my final okay so let's see what our final is so we can see a lot of zeros are there but let me go to the top okay here we can see we have certain values okay and each uh, let's say row has seven okay uh, you can see zero is first 12 is second this particular thing is uh, third this is fourth this is fifth this is sixth and this is seventh which means that every row is consisting of seven numbers so this, this is the first row the second row is also having seven numbers the th third row is also having seven and after that it's all zero 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 so this is not relevant so how do you interpret this well this basically the first zero is for the image okay image number now since we all only had one image this all of this will be zero okay now what is this 12 this is basically a label so you saw that class names over here we will be using the 12th one what is 12 over here it says dog okay and second one was seven and then this was seven and this was two okay so seven and two let's go back let's see seven seven is car and two is bicycle okay so if you remember the doggo image which i'm going to show you right now the same image so the doggo image so this is the dog this is the bicycle and this is the truck or the car whatever so these were the three things that were there now we need to prog programmatically take it out okay and this is the confidence it's highly confident that there is with 99.78 percent accuracy that there is a whatever the 12th was okay and 99.66 99.5 which means very high accuracies okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say um let's say first take the height and width of the image so i'm going to say height comma width I don't need the um, channel so I'm just going to say like that and I'm going to say image dot shape okay I'm going to hit shift and enter so the image was the doggo image and we have the height of the image and then we have the width of the image now what I can do is basically I can go and um, let me first you know let me try to import the image itself now now I'm going to say ig is equal to cv2 dot imread and I'm going to read the image. So there is the doggo image. Copy path, paste it over here, and leave it. Now what I'm going to do for i in range. So let's say for i in range, whatever was the shape of final. So final dot shape of zero. So if you remember, the final was hundred. So if I say final dot shape it will come it will come 100 com cross 7 100 comma 7 and of 0 it will basically iterate through 100 so obviously we need only the first three we don't need the others but whatever it whatever the case is so what i'm going to do i'm going to get the confidence so i'm going to say conf equal to final of uh, i that is for i th row and 2 why if you i'm going to print for you final one more time if you look at the final variable if you remember i said confidence is this one so it is 99 percent confident okay which means this is zero this is one i'm i'm talking about the index and this is two that is the second index over here so that explains this i is for every row okay so now what i want to do is now there are so many uh, boxes with zero confidence i don't know i don't need this so what i'm going to say let's take if conf is greater than 0 0.5 it's greater than 0 0.5 which basically means only this three even if i wrote 0 0.9 all the three would be qualified but whatever 0 0.5 is generally what people take so now let me take the class names okay so we i'm going to say class name 
equal to class names and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take final final of I want this one so 12 uh, 12 7 so this is I comma 1 I comma 1 okay now if you want to print it also you can actually print it over here so I'm going to say print of class underscore name names or rather let me just say name okay and let me print it you can see dog car and bicycle so now we have the class name now what I need to do is I need to have the as you can see these are the coordinates this is x1 normalized format x2 oh sorry y x1 y1 x2 y2 x2 here y2 here but this is in the normalized format so what I need to do first let me take out x1 n x1 normalized comma y1 normalized comma x2 normalized comma y2 normalized and then what we are going to do we are going to take from here so I am going to say final of final of i comma 3 and trace it. why 3 because 0 is this 1 is this 2 is this now 3 is this so we need this one why because this one is x normalized x1 normalized this is y1 normalized this is uh, x2 normalized and this is y2 normalized okay so we are going to get this and let's just print it okay so that we know that it is kind of working so x1 n y1 n x2 n y2 n okay and then i'm going to just say okay we can also just leave it till here because only three will be printed so you can see over here 0 0.18044 it came over here the entire row is this entire row so this is there then the second one is 0 0.608 0 0.608 so entire this row this row is entire this thing okay and the third and for the third so now what we are going to do is now since this is already normalized we want it in the real format so x1 is equals to x1 normalized into the width so width now what will be y1 y1 is equals to y1 normalized into the height what is x2 norm uh, x2 is x2 normalized x2 normalized into width and what is y2 y2 is equals to y2 normalized into height okay now we have all four now we are almost ready to uh, make our rectangle and uh, uh, bounding boxes but before that I need to do one more thing I'm going to say top left so if you see this image um, the top left is x1 comma y1 so I'm going to say uh, and I also need to convert it to int okay because uh, this is int and this is float over here you can see so if I print it right now let me just comment it over here and I'm going to print x1 comma y1 comma x2 comma y2 okay if i print you will see you'll see this numbers are there but these are not coordinates because these are in decimal so i have to convert it into int so i'm going to say int for this i'm also going to say int for this so if you hit shift and enter now now all of those will be converted into ints so the top left will be what x1 comma y1 and what will be the bottom right if you if you see the image here x1 is this uh, the top left is this and bottom right is x2 y2 so i'm going to say x2 comma y2 so we have this both now what i'm going to do i'm going to hit i'm going to print the image i'm going to pr uh, make the bounding box on the image so i'm going to say c uh, I, ig is equals to cv2 dot rectangle rectangle and i'm going to say ig itself ig is the image over here okay ig comma i need to give top left so i'm going to say top left then bottom right bottom right and then i'm going to give the color i'm going to keep it green so zero point um, oh sorry here it has to be bottom right okay not bottom left bottom right and then over here zero and then i'm going to pass the thickness as three now we also have the class name so we can uh, write the class name on top of the bounding box so as you can see the bounding box is like this I want it on the top okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say ig equal to cv2 dot put text put text and then what I need to do pass the image then pass the class name then I also pass need to pass the coordinate which is um, I'm going to say x1 comma y1 minus 10 y10 because we want the class name to be over the bounding box okay so after giving that what i need to do is 
I have to give the font font I haven't mentioned it so I'm going to mention it right now so let me go to the top here I'm going to say font is equals to cv2 dot capital font Hershey Hershey simplex okay so this is there so I've given the font I need to give the font scale font scale let me keep it to 0 0.5 or I can keep it to um, okay 0 0.5 not that okay. go to the next line then I'm going to give it the color I'm going to give the color so I'm going to give it blue so 255 0 0 lastly I also need to give it the thickness so I need to give the thickness as let's say I'm going to give it um, thickness as 1 okay and then finally cv2 dot line under go aa let me hit shift and enter and hopefully it should run now i'm going to show you the final what we have created okay so i'm going to say ig so let's see what we get as an output so as you can see we have got the dog it has been detecting properly we have got the bicycle it has been detecting it properly and then we also have got the car okay so this is how you do it so i hope you understood the video and bye